Good morning guys, today is Tuesday the 8th of June I feel like I don't start off my vlogs well, like I don't introduce myself or say hello properly And in my usual videos, like in my videos where I'm maybe showing products or something I usually do so I might try and start doing that for every vlog I need to kind of reprogram my brain so hi if you are new here thank you for joining my name is Mary I'm a natural hair lifestyle and beauty content creator from London and today I am continuing the vlog from the weekend and I am currently setting up for a zoom meeting and this is a meeting with a brand called skin sense and i believe they're launching a new product so skin sense is a skin brand um i've received about three products from them now and i love their products i've received a retinal serum i've received a cleanser and a face oil and i can tell you those products are so good i actually put them i actually put two of those products in my um my fave products video so check that out if you want to know more but before the meeting starts they did send over a box which i want to open now with you guys sent a whole plant my friends will know me like they'll, they'll probably be laughing at me right now because a plant me a plant i can't even take care of myself <laughs> and now i'm a plant mother so this is aloe vera apparently it shouldn't be that hard to take care of i pray i don't kill it i speak life into you baby i speak life into you i speak health I pray you will flourish. You'll be my first plant baby that does not die in Jesus name. The purpose for which you were created will come to pass. You will flourish and you will not experience any sudden death in Jesus name, amen. But the good thing about aloe vera is that you can use it on your natural hair. If anything, if I see that there's a change, you know what's gonna happen. My sister said the pot is too small for it though, so how big does it grow because I'm shooketh. Thank you so much Make Skin Sense, this is such a thoughtful gift and the other products as well. Give my plant a name, give this aloe vera plant a name or maybe I shouldn't because that means there's going to be a relationship that you guys might form with it and if I disappoint you I'll feel really bad. <laughs> now I'm getting back to work because your girl has a lot of work to do. I hope um, you're all well and I'll see you guys very very soon. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Hello guys. We are back. It is Friday. The weekend has begun and uh, you know we're out exploring because outside is open. I'll always say that because I can't believe that we were locked up for over a year. But anyway today we are going to a Nigerian restaurant. Um, and yeah, obviously I'm going to take you guys around. Do you want to say hi? Or do you want to say hi in the restaurant? Hi in the restaurant. Oh, hi. <laughs> Alright, we've reached. And we're on See time. you inside. And we're on time. Okay, good high five, actually. Yeah. He did well today, he did well today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See what we can't do? <laughs> <laughs> you want to take us around? <laughs> That's what we're doing today. Happy to be in New Cross. This place is busy. This place is busy. We we had a booking for nine. See? And we keep on go on time. It's now nine twenty-five. We were on time. Um, but it's busy. There's there's no seats.
I was like, after you said, after you talked about it, I was like, oh, I have to come and try it. So I was telling him today, oh yeah, well, because he was like, oh, let's get cinema. But there's nothing in the cinema that I can do. Hi, Dipper. How are you? Thomas birthday, Sam. Happy birthday. Long time no see. How are you? Good. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. We've been here since 7 o'clock. It's like you. Is this why we have to wait so long? Oh yeah, tell them not. I don't know, I'm not going to say anything, but... Bye! So this is the menu. Do you have reception? Because mine's going slow. I apologise guys, for some reason my sound was going at this point. Um, this lovely lady is named Natasha and she was actually giving me a little review of the restaurant. At this point, I was getting annoyed because service wasn't great. And so it was good to hear Natasha's point of view. But because the sound isn't part of the video, I assume that this video is meant to just be my point of view anyway. <laughs> but Natasha is a food blogger, so do check out her Instagram where you can also find her TikTok page because she does review restaurants over on TikTok. Thanks, Natasha. So the time is now 10.42, guys. Our table was nine. So far, we have drinks, okay? So... <laughs> Natasha is the only one that's given me hope because she said brunch is different, you know. Certain days are different. They're just busy here. They're short staff today, so... But right now, if I was hungry, I would be so hungry. She did. And someone's got their food. Are you happy? No? Because it cold? <laughs> Cheers! We waited a long time for this moment, but we're here. <laughs> Because that side is not done. Because what? One side is not done. And there the carcass was found. Mine actually came with rice. Yeah. Rice and the chips as well. I'll come in. Okay. was the best. No son, the sauce was better. The, the, the sauce. Then come the fish, chicken. How about the jollof? Jollof, 
party wise could be better but it's okay I didn't think it was that bad I'd definitely say overall 3.5 out of 5 <laughs> No, it's not a date. No, we're not together. Thank you. It's your birthday. Have you got proof? No. So how do we know that? His birthday is the 3rd of April. So you're paying then? Oh, that's crazy. Wow. One. Yeah, twelve. What's the time? It oh, is. Yeah, ten two. The um, bill even took over an hour to come. I mean, we were vibes in, we were discussing, but it's only because we were waiting for the bill. Um, the owner, manager, owner, manager. I told him I was gonna be very direct because you guys know I give you the real, real. And I told him like this service isn't great. What did he say? He said. He wants honesty because obviously you can only develop, you can only progress, you can only grow from your mistakes. So he's very fine with my honesty and what I'm going to say in the video. Mm -hmm. But maybe we mm -hmm. want to hear what Uncle B says first. Do you actually have anything to say? Honestly speaking, not really, oh. no. The food was not great. Of course, it was the best part of the food. Fish. 
not cooked properly. One side was cooked, the other side was not cooked, which I don't like. So they're good one part, one side. Okay. And your chicken was not fantastic. Yeah. I was trying to find out if it was suya or not suya. Yeah, I couldn't taste the suya on it. No. I feel like, I mean, it looked like suya powder, but. I was just. It's just grilled chicken. Grilled chicken with. But the funny thing is, grilled chicken, no flavor inside. With the chicken, juicy chicken. Yeah. Juicy, but no flavor. Just the pepper on top. The chicken was not great. The <laughs> chips, uh, <laughs> the yam. <laughs> I was forced myself to eat it. Oh my gosh, um, I feel like you're picky, you know. No, I'm not. I'm done. And right now, my pain in my stomach still. I'm not picky. I'm just not satisfied. Okay, for me, what did I have again? The chicken. I'm not really a chicken person, guys. Like, I don't know how many times I have to say it. Like, chicken doesn't excite me. So, for me, the chicken was, well, a standard two, if that. Um, I did like the fish. Obviously, I never had all of the fish. I think like the green seasoning they put on the fish was nice and spicy. But I still feel like the fish could have been a bit more flavorful. Like there wasn't like flavor unless you added it with plantain or added it with sauce kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yam is just yam. For me, it was fine. The jollof rice. Oh yeah, the jollof rice. They did the bark, they did it um, as in um, they cooked it outside, as in firewood. So it wasn't too bad, it wasn't great. But it wasn't I like the jello. No, jello for us was not. Something was missing. I feel like he's really picky. No, I'm not. It was just felt like something was missing. Okay. One so five. out of five, what would you give everything you had? In total, combined, let's say three. Okay. That's the coast they were taking up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so. Yeah, so three. Okay, so I, w I would have given it a three point. I will give it a three point. F mm, I'll give it a three actually, yeah. I'll give it a three because for me, like, I'm really about flavor. And if something doesn't have flavor, it's a bit like I'm, I'm a bit confused. <laughs> that was confused. I, I ate it because it's food and I like food. Um, but thank God I wasn't hungry. Whereas he hadn't eaten all day, so he was hungry. So, so I guess that's why he was very, very disappointed. Okay, so that's the food. Drinks wise, like we just got standard drinks. I mean, they gave me shots because he's driving. They gave me shots because as compensation for waiting for so long. Okay, guys, we got there at nine. Oh, six. Oh, six. Nine, oh, six. Slightly late. Not as late as we were late by six minutes and even then is because when we were standing like they were like we had to wait so we never got seated until 9 45 no it couldn't have been 9 45 we ordered at 9 45 so we probably got seated at 9 30 ordered our food it was longer than 9 45 because we were chasing them to order our food by the time by the time we were like where's the menu actually natasha asked for us yes. menu that probably was 9.45. We were already sitting down for 15 minutes. And the menu was right in front of us. And the menu was in front of us. We never knew. So by the time that she now came for our food, it must have been around 10 by the time we ordered. It must have been. Yes, 10, 10, 15. So... Food did not come to... Well, food what? didn't... Your food came around 10... I don't know. I put the time. I, I, I documented the time. My food came at 11.10. So that's a Minutes, whole. Not, that's what more than half an hour. That's a whole hour after we've One ordered. Hour. Yes. No, your food for my food. My food came first. Your, your yeah, food. his food came first, so and, and mine came after. And the fish is almost done. And he's almost finished his fish. Oh, wait, wait, so we ordered the same time. Almost finished our fish. Okay. 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 okay yes. We we almost yeah, finished the fish. Me, I had more than I was hungry by that time. <laughs> I was, like, I was hungry. I was hungry. I was hungry. When the food started touching my mouth, I was like, okay, a girl could eat. A girl could eat. So yeah, it just it just took. The service was just really long and really poor. Um, Natasha was saying that it was a bad day. 
they were short staffed and the manager had been there wouldn't have been like that and things like that but my thing is you can't consistently rely on the manager being there before you deliver a good service do you know what i mean yes. um and so when he came he was basically saying that he needs to see how the place will run when he's not there because he needs the staff to know what they need to improve on so it's just a shame that we had to be the test dummies on the day, <laughs> on the day literally came. on the day we came. I saw Belle there, you would have seen her, shout out to Belle, she's the one, there's, and my friend Ola, who I usually go out to eat with as well, they're the ones that actually told me about this place, which was, I was, I was like, oh, let's try it today. And she said... And Belle says she loves the food. But from 7 o'clock. But she was there from 7 and she was leaving around 9.45. Yeah. So she, she even said that, um, the thing is the wait. So I just had to let you guys know, if you want to go, do not go on a Friday night, that's for sure. Um, Natasha says brunch usually is good. So we're thinking of going back on a Sunday for brunch to see if it's any different. We booked online, by the way. That's it summed up. Would I go back? I'd go back and give it another try, 100%. I don't like just giving things one try, and especially if it's a bad experience. Like you kind of want to know whether it just happens to be a bad day for you <laughs> and for me it was kind of it was nice meeting natasha on alamide alamide is not in the vlog but natasha it was nice meeting natasha met some other girls i didn't get their names but they were hilarious Very much fun. <laughs> they were funny new places new faces that's my motto as long as i had a good time i'm not too mad mr aj the manager aka the owner who didn't want to claim he's the owner this is my review for you so um yeah i hope you can approve what else would you say they should approve on so i think customer service is not hard because yeah. when you seat people at the table you should say okay this is where the menu is um you know we had to chase them to order our drinks we had to chase them to order our food so that's that <laughs> after we finished we asked for takeaway because obviously all that food we weren't about to eat anyway the takeaway, she packed it relatively quick. I think within 20 minutes, I guess. No, even 10 minutes. But then waited for the bill. Took another hour, <laughs> guys. Another hour from when we received our takeaway to paying the bill. Another hour. And bear in mind, people have already left by this time as well. So it's like, why is it taking another hour? He's not indicating, is he? Both of them. You guys, when you drive, indicate. How can you just not... And we're at a roundabout. No one knows where you're going. That, that's very selfish. So, yeah. I also think it was a bad night in terms of customer service. Um, but, yeah. Did AJ actually apologise? Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. He held my hand for quite a long time apologising. <laughs> I was thinking, when are you going to let go, bro? <laughs> <laughs> But that's it for today, guys. Deuces. Bye. Oh, say bye. Bye. So, you guys, I'm back again. Because guess what? Psh, psh, all throughout this clip. And it's a shame because I was actually giving some really valuable tips and pointers when it comes to taking out your hair. Um, how I'm going to do my hair post taking out the braids. What I'm going to do for the rest of the day, etc, etc. And I even spoke about Equi Botanics because those products are doing wonders for me. And I actually have a discount code for you guys. Um, I've left it in the comments below, so do check it out. But yeah, I might as well sign out because, as you know, I didn't do an outro. Well, I did, but I've cut this vlog from 40 minutes to 20. So the outro is not the second half. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. I've taken out my hair, finish. My mum's hair taking out her hair. I'm not just going to show her. I didn't need to go to the shop in the end because. Look, we came to the rescue. Thank you. Are you enjoying the food, yeah? Tell them I, I made it. Better than yesterday's milk. No. Better than yesterday. Imagine. Me, yeah, I could never be a restauranteur. Is it a restauranteur or restaurantee? It's not my calling. We're watching The Greatest Showman. I've never seen this one, but it's really good. Okay. And if you know about this. Drop a comment below. Nice chilled Saturday.